Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a selection of chocolates from Hundley's Fine Chocolates. I hope I'm saying that right, and if I'm not, I apologize. I, I have not heard of this brand. Asthma lives in Ohio, and Asthma sent us these chocolates to try. She has a Merle Norman shop. She's going to be selling these in her shop, and uh, so... Uh, you're, you're thinking she will be. She did. I oh, confirmed yeah. it. Yes, she'll definitely be selling these in her shop. And so these are made in Hartville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. She really is passionate about supporting Ohio-based companies. I think that's awesome. Uh, Hondalee's, they uh, have over 30 different types of gourmet chocolate selections. It says there's sure to be something for everyone. Stop in and experience the art of chocolate production made fresh daily. I bet their shop smells mm -hmm. incredible. They probably have a tour or something you could do. But in this video, we're going to be trying the chocolate cover Twinkie. Uh, assorted chocolates, which I don't, it doesn't say what they are. We'll just have to get into them. Uh, sea salt caramels. Um, chocolate covered pretzels, looks like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And um, chocolate covered Oreos, which looks like milk chocolate. So uh, there, uh, let me get some scissors here. This. Huge. Yes. Huge. That's how I want my Twinkies. <laughs> yeah, not a regular Twinkie. Not a regular Twinkie. Oh, it smells wonderful. It is milk chocolate. Mm. You know it smells good in there. A timeless tradition tastes the difference. How thick is it? Oh, okay, good. Um, milk chocolate. <laughs> it's milk chocolate. Um, and then you have the, the Twinkies. Uh, and you. it says reference the manufacturer's box for ingredients. So you, like, you would have to go to Hostess. Uh, but it does not give you um, calories or anything like that on here, of course. I wouldn't expect there to be. Not bad. The, um, I don't like Twinkies. Um, but um, for a chocolate cup Twinkie, it's good. Yeah, but that's better than any Twinkie I've had. Yeah, a Twinkie by itself is, is I just don't like it at all. I would never choose to eat a Twinkie by itself. And anytime we review them, we're only reviewing them because it's a new flavor and we're trying it for you all. We would never ordinarily buy Twinkies, but if I had to buy a Twinkie, that's the Twinkie I would buy. With chocolate. Which, <laughs> yes, because that's awesome. Mm, that's very good, it's very sweet. I love uh, love the amount of chocolate on there. Yeah, I'm surprised the chocolate doesn't come through even more. It's good, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but, it, but I'm surprised it doesn't come through even stronger. Okay, now this says assorted chocolate. Looks like they're all different. So it does. So we have two in dark chocolate, and then we have three in milk. Um, now that round one, you might want to save that for last because on this picture, now, I got cherry. now I don't expect these because there's nine of these. There's only five of these, uh, so we're not going to get all these in there, but. That round one might be a chocolate covered cherry. These look so like a caramel or a marshmallow. It does. So like I'm wondering. Caramel. So like these are sea salt caramels. No, that looks dark on the inside, doesn't it? You want well, about half of that? You can eat the whole thing. I'm. Um, oh, if we won't have a picture, will we? No. Um, well, I'll leave that half. You can just bite that half. <laughs> I'll cut it out next time. Easier said than done. Oh, it's coffee. No, I was going to say, that's coffee. Mm -hmm. The minute it hit my tongue, it's coffee. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Very strong coffee, though. I bet they call that mocha. Yeah. Yeah, probably so. I love it. I think it's uh, awesome. I love the, uh, the really thick layer of milk chocolate on the outside. It adds a lot of sweetness to it, so it's not like a just a dark uh, coffee flavor. It actually is incredibly sweet as well. Okay, what is this? Heavy the whole one. Oh, you have to eat the whole thing? Yeah. Well, we won't have pictures of everything. That one had... It uh, looks like a hazelnut. It's uh, mostly chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think it might be a hazelnut. Definitely. But you get mostly chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's good. Almost that's a caramel-like flavor. Did you get like a caramel-like flavor from it? That's so delicious. 
don't know if maybe that's a, a coated hazelnut or what. This one looks like a turtle, just not quite as. That is so delicious. Um, mm, let's go. That, um, you, it's amazing to me how strong the hazelnut is. Mm -hmm. I would buy that again and again. And I love, once again, I love the milk chocolate. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. What is this one? It looks like a turtle. It looks like a turtle. Pecans, it is. It's pecans, caramel, caramel and chocolate. But the, the pecans in there taste like they're roasted. Mm -hmm. So you get that little scorched. You know, if you put pecans in a pan, you, you toast them. Mm. That's what that tastes like, a toasted pecan. Which elevates the flavor like... Like really good. That's my favorite one so far. Um, now that we're tasting these, um, they're this delicious. I'm really surprised we've never heard of this brand. Because, mm. I mean, like, this seems like it would be a brand that would like send you a catalog. You know what though, people probably haven't heard of uh, outside of already have Ruth Hunt or Rebecca Ruth. Rebecca or Ruth, those, yeah. Those are really good candy places. They're just Rebecca Ruth is really good. Yeah, yeah. Rebecca Ruth. <clears throat> Rebecca Ruth is terrific, and you don't hear that name enough. Um, mm -hmm. But this, this is better. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is better than than what we have. I like to surprise you with what flavor there. That is peanut butter. Strong peanut butter too. But they it, put it with dark chocolate. It was in dark chocolate. Hey, this one may run. It was good, but I'd rather have peanut butter with either white. And I'm wondering if they do a white. I'm sure they do white. I mean, they're a chocolate company, right? But Asma just sent us the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. Um, I do like the peanut butter, but I, I prefer like over the top sweet. So I would like it better, peanut butter with milk or white. White, white would be preferable. Um, that was nice though. That was nice. I like that. That is it's, not a chocolate. No, it's like cherry. a white cream. Oh. But it's a runny cream. Mm. It's good. It almost tastes like a amaretto or something. That's what I was saying. It's definitely alcohol. Mm -hmm. It probably doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it has that flavor. Mm -hmm. It's nice. But it has a, it tastes like vanilla too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. The I dark don't chocolate, know what that is, but it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Their dark chocolate's good. It does have a little of that dark chocolate bitterness, but it, it's, it's but that, good quality. I like the dark chocolate with that one in particular. Be, it's very runny, so really the best way to eat that would be just be pop, pop the whole thing in your mouth and enjoy it. Um, but I like it with that because that was a strong enough and sweet enough. Super sweet. Yes, to where these are all the same thing. Yes, these are all the same. I love it. They, they made a good decision, I think, putting that with dark chocolate because that liquid is so very, very sweet. If they put it with milk chocolate, it, it would be delicious, but it would probably make your teeth hurt because it's so, uh, so sweet. This, uh, these are sea salt caramels. Mm -hmm. So we want to know, are we going to taste the sea salt of oh, this one? You do get the salt, especially at the beginning. I really taste the salt on the first thing out. After that, it tapered off a bit, but it's still really good caramel. It's a thick, chewy caramel, too. Because mm -hmm. you're still doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm still working. <laughs> I like it that it's that thick because if you buy a bag this small, you're only getting what, one, two, three, maybe six pieces, five or six pieces. But that's gonna last you because you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna want to eat that whole bag at once. Very thick caramel, very sweet. Um, I did not get a ton of sea salt. No, like I said, it was just when I first stuck it on my tongue. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit of salt was on the outside, and then I kind of went away. 
But that being said, I still loved it. Yeah, I still think good. it's a wonderful caramel. Very thick. It's it it like I said, it's gonna take you a while to eat that. Now these are chocolate covered pretzels. They're dark. It's dark. And this is like a double. This is like two pretzels. A piece a broken piece was stuck on top. I like that, but boy, is it dark. Mm -hmm. I like the crunch of the pretzel. I like the, the saltiness of the pretzel, but very, very dark. Now, I got salt in that because you got the pretzel. The pretzel, yeah. The pretzel had salt on it. The pretzel was nice and fresh. We've had chocolate covered pretzels where it's like, it, it almost seems like they use stale pretzels. Yeah. You can always tell when a company does that. These are nice fresh pretzels mm -hmm. and you do get you get the crispiness of the pretzel, you get the salt. It is dark chocolate though, but I do think it's good quality dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's just that we don't appreciate dark chocolate like other people do. Right. We still like it, but we're always going to go to white or milk before. Now these are chocolate covered Oreos and you get three of these. 100% does an Oreo. Exactly what it says it is, yeah. That's good too. My favorite thing is the in that you no know, the well the caramels are really good, but I like that little turtle looking thing. The caramel and the pecans. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. That chocolate covered Oreo. It's very good. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um that is just as good um as the uh what oreo does themselves um when they put it in that white fudge mm -hmm. um i think i like oreo the oreo ones a little better the white fudge yeah i think i like those a little bit better i bet you they do these in white too and i bet they're wonderful yeah, yeah um, that's good I, all these are good though i think that's delicious what was the one the, oh, the hazelnut one. I was going to say, the, the only was, one we won't have a picture of. What was of. the one? Yeah, we don't have a picture of the hazelnut. That hazelnut, mmm, it's so close for me. They're all wonderful, honestly. Uh, I, I'll, I think I'm going to go with the hazelnut as being my number one. But my number two would be whatever that alcohol is. The dark chocolate with the, the white cream. The dark chocolate with that white cream, that runny cream. I don't, I'll have to see if I can, I wonder if it's on here, I didn't even look. No, there's nothing that runny on here, but they don't give names anyway. Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking on there. There's no names. It's, it's not that gonna, one, aren't It's not gonna <laughs> help me any. Um, I'll have to look on their website and see if I can figure out what it is. But I, honestly, I love them all though. And, my, the only one I really wouldn't buy is the pretzels and the Twinkie. My favorite Oreo is a covered Oreo. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if, if Best Oreo, covered Oreo. Yeah, if it's covered, I'm going to love it. Um, so the only one you wouldn't buy is what? The Twinkie and the pretzels. Um, Everything else is really good. You know what, though? I think if somebody... I would rather somebody buy these Twinkies than a regular Twinkie oh, yeah. because this is so yeah. much better. I'm just, I'm just saying personally, me, me personally, I wouldn't buy it. Right. I wonder if those stay fresher longer because they're... Uh, they're Twinkies stay pretty fresh forever. They either. do. They do. But you would think that coated... That, yeah, that it would be even have a longer shelf life because you've you've encapsulated the Twinkie, you know, yeah. in this, this milk chocolate. So you would think it would stay fresher even longer. Um, this, I'm very, very impressed. Mm -hmm. um, I think Asma made a very smart business decision uh, to sell these in her Merle Norman store. I'm going to put Asma's information below. If you want to uh, contact her, uh, she will ship it directly to you. And uh, the, the, it, this would be a wonderful company uh, to try their chocolate. Yeah, it's good. This is terrific. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.